up y'all big herc 916 and you're tuned into another episode of my blog make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and support you know i'm all about that positivity motivation trying to give you all some games so you can get your life right also check out big herc 916.com i'll be giving away a pair of 12 and a half shoes when i hit 10,000 subscribers so make sure you subscribe so you can enter to win get you some free kicks but yeah man you know, I've been talking about the males out there, but I got to talk about where are the good women at? Where are they at? You know, got a lot of women on the internet, on these social media sites, shaking their ass, putting their cooters out there, you know, but what are they doing with themselves? What do they bring to the table? What I mean by that, where are the cooking skills at? Where are the cleaning skills at? Where are the house skills at? I mean, back in the day, women knew how to take care of their man at the kitchen table, you know, in the house, in the bedroom. They kept a good house, you know. But nowadays, a lot of these women are just ratchet, man. They they just, yeah, on the outside, you see them in public, they look clean. You go to their bathroom, they got motherfucking uh, tampons and shit in a motherfucking trash can, you know. Uh, the refrigerator ain't got no motherfucking food in it. It's got a bunch of pre-made bullshit meals that they throw in the microwave. They don't even know how to motherfucking cook rice. You ask them how to do a steak up, they couldn't tell you. You talk about, uh, you know, keeping a good house. House is nasty. They don't wash dishes. Shit ain't clean. You know, it's like, come on, man. And then you get into the bedroom and they barely can perform there because they think that because they look good, they ain't got to do shit, but later, put their legs open. You got to do more than that. Then I'm checking your heels too. Your heels got to be right. You, you know, you take your socks off and your feet look like Thundercat. Get your feet right, get your, get your motherfucking hands right, you know, and get your mind right. Have something going for yourself besides your looks. Be career orientated. Be focused on building something with a good motherfucking man, you know, when you when you put that put that hook and hook and line out there and you you run around like you some old hoochie mama you know what I mean, and you, and you get mad because you catch a motherfucker he ain't about shit, well you put yourself out there like you ain't about shit, what you expect to catch with motherfucking uh, shit bait, you gonna catch shit, you know you, you wearing you wearing coochie cutters and 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 all this old shit thinking that you hot hot to trot, but yet you catch a motherfucker yeah he got. The Range Rover, or he got the Benz or the Lambo, but all he trying to do is beat them guts up, and he ain't trying he ain't trying to do nothing more because he ain't gonna take you around his mom and have you in his house and wife you up because you ain't wifey material. You you can't handle the wifey duties, and I'm not trying to say women are supposed to be in the kitchen. I'm just saying take care of your motherfucking business, take care of your man. I got a good wife, man. My wife, you know, cooks me breakfast in bed, make sure the house is clean. Make sure that shit is on point, you know what I mean? Our calendars are synced, our division board, the goals are being accomplished. Make sure I got my shit right. My medical's taken care of. Make sure I can stay on top of my taxes. Make sure I stay on top of all my business filings. You know, she makes sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, which is likewise. I don't just sit around the house and do nothing. I'm a motherfucking go-getter. I'm a motherfucking hustler. I make sure shit is taken care of at the house. Plenty of food. You know what I'm saying? I, I do the dishes, I do laundry, she folds it, you know what I mean? She cooks, and it's a sharing, it's a, it's, a, it's a joint relationship. We both help out each other. It's not like I expect her to be barefooted in the kitchen, but at the same time, be able to make a fucking meal. You know, I'm hungry, look out. Why would you want your man to be hungry? You know, and, and you know, on, on the flip side of that, you know, for motherfuckers at home all day, he should be cooking and taking care and cleaning the house. So he should be looking out for his, his wife or his fiance if he's a stay at home dude. Cause he got a lot of them motherfuckers out there too. But I'm just saying, where are the good women at? Good women, you gotta step up. I know it's hard to find a good man, but you gotta step up. You gotta let them know that you out there, that you going to school, that you, you know, you're career orientated, that you trying to make it happen. And I know a lot of these guys are looking for the trophy. They're looking for someone they could just, you know, prance around and look good. And all she do is look in the mirror all day. And I know that ain't, that ain't really what's gonna get a motherfucker long-term gratification, it's short-term. So, you know, you good women out there, let a motherfucker know that you got more to offer than twerking, than selfies, than 
you know, booty shots. You know, you, you got you got good qualities. You got uh, parenting skills. You got skills that can help a man elevate his game. Because beside every good man is a good woman, and that's what builds a motherfucking foundation. You got to have a team. It takes a team to make shit happen. You know, man and woman. So, you know, good women, I want to hear from you, man. I want to know where you're at, what you're doing with yourself. You know, I don't know where he spoke on the fake alpha males and these weak ass men out here who ain't handling their business, who land up underneath women hoping that they get a motherfucking paycheck. Well, women, you know, I know y'all done took the rein and them really stepped your game up, but you got to let a man be a man too. You know, I know a lot of y'all like these old weak ass men that you could tell what to do. But if you want a real motherfucker, then you're going to have to let a real motherfucker be a real motherfucker. Or else you're going to run them off. And then you're going to be left lonely, complaining with a bunch of your girlfriends in the room and all y'all sitting around talking about sex toys because can't none of y'all get no real dick. So if you want some real dick in your life, you got to learn to give a motherfucker his space, respect him, and he will give back to you. He will love you. He will protect you. He will cherish you. Half these motherfuckers out here now can't protect that woman. They weenies. But you women out there, you, you you go ahead and you partner up with these motherfuckers because you can boss them around. I was in a gym the other day and a motherfucker was working out with his girl and the girl's ex-boyfriend came into the gym and this motherfucker came up and said, hey, why ain't you been returning my calls? I've been looking for you. Who's this motherfucker? And he's like, hey, hey, hey. I don't want no problems, buddy. He's like, is this your girl? He's like, hey, we're just hanging out. And I looked at this motherfucker like, what the fuck? You cold motherfucking weenie. She turned around, she ducked off, went and told the, the, the counter, the guy working the counter that she's being stalked and, you know what I mean, that this guy's harassing her. And the dude who she was with, he just kind of looked at me and, and moseyed off. I'm like, dude, ain't that your, what's up, man? And he just kind of shook his head. Straight motherfucking weenie. And then after the dude left that was harassing her, she went back to him and said, come on, let's go down here. And he followed her. Cold, like a little old chihuahua puppy. Pathetic, man. So real women, you want a real motherfucker, step up. Let a motherfucker know you got his back. But the real motherfucking men ain't going ain't gonna to let you boss them around. They ain't going to put up with all that, that, that bullshit. You know, motherfucker wants someone who can cook, clean, handle business, be a business partner, be a supporter, and also someone they can grow with. And there's a lot of good motherfuckers out there, but you can't, you, you can't run them off. You got to let them be them. Otherwise, you get these motherfuckers with these fucking uh, skinny jeans and beards and shit, and you think they masculine, but they soft as motherfucking jello. Soft as baby shit. Soft as motherfucking cotton. And that's what you're going to get. A weak motherfucker, and you're going to have a weak kid together. So, good women, hey, if you're a good woman, let a motherfucker know. You clean house, you know what I mean? You wash your ass, you lotion your feet, you got good hygiene, your hair's tight. Your vagina smell good. <coughs> you know how to you know how to make a motherfucker happy, and you get down in the bedroom. You'll get a good man, and that motherfucker will love you to death. And together, y'all can conquer the world. But you gotta let it be known you're a good woman, a good woman, and you gotta respect the motherfucking a true motherfucking uh you know uh a alpha a true motherfucking not somebody who runs around saying they're alpha. Oh, I'm a dominant male. That nigga is soft. He ain't no dominant male if he got to tell you that, you know. But uh, you'll know when you run across somebody who's about about it. Good woman. Holler at me. Let me know. Big Herc. I'll be the matchmaker. I'll put you together with a real motherfucker. And that way y'all could build a real motherfucking relationship.